is Bonnie Southgate, HEDS Rehab here for another exercise a day for the month of May. We are coming towards the end, and so what I thought I would do is be progressing those exercises up into standing. Now, some of you um, are, are chair bound, but a lot of you aren't, and you do stand up. So we are gonna look at a leg strengthening exercise. Um, holding onto a chair and a squat. And we're just gonna look at the little things that you need to think about, little tips that you need to think about to make this more successful. So I'm gonna start facing my chair with my hands on the chair. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about our best posture to begin with. So we wanna not be hanging in the back of those knees because I'm not starting from a good place there. So we're gonna unlock those knees, which might feel odd and you might feel like you don't know where you are in space, um, but we're gonna start with those knees unlocked. And then you're gonna feel like you reach your bottom for a chair. So I'm just gonna think about moving my hips back and then I'm gonna come back up. So we're just gonna do that a few times. So I want you to be careful. Now, if I do that, I'm slightly tucked under, is different than that. It's not a big movement, but it makes a big difference in how the knees and the ankles feel. So if you are holding your pelvic floor or holding your lower belly and you try and move your hips, you won't be able to really well. So you've gotta let all that go. Sometimes if you think about putting your hands um, in a triangle here, and you can think about tipping the bottom bit back. And you have to allow yourself to move the hips without moving the spine. So I'm not, I'm not arching my lower back to go back. So I'm gonna allow myself to bend, and now I'm just gonna bend my knees forward slightly, and I'm gonna come back up. So you can hold on to something if that is easier. I'm gonna send those thigh bones back. So the weight's more in my heels now. And then I'm gonna let my knees bend and my hips bend and my ankles bend only to where my knees are super comfortable. And I'm gonna come back up. So if I face you for a minute, I'm taking my hips back and then I'm letting my knees bend forward. Now what I want you to try not to do is let those knees come in. I want you to try and keep them hip width apart. Now, going in, it's not that it's a bad movement to make for humans, but as people with hypermobility issues, we tend to subflex our hips that way. So when we roll our knees in, that's when we can roll our hips out the socket. It's not a problem for the general population, but it is for, for those of us with instability in the hip. So we need to keep those knees looking straight forward so we are less likely to sublux. Then we can bend the knee and we bend the ankle. So I keep feeling like my weight is going back a little bit. That's why it's fine to hold on to something. And then coming all the way back up. So that is standing into a squat position. And that is our exercise for today. It's great for strengthening your legs, great for teaching you good movement from the hip and the knee and the ankle. And we will be taking this exercise into a sit to stand. So we're gonna make it functional for, um, for our everyday life in our video for tomorrow. So look out for that as well. It is Bonnie Southgate, HEDS Rehab here on an exercise a day for the month of May. And I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.